What is up everybody, this is Easy Easy Street Gaming, bringing you a special video today. This one is pretty incredible. It's on the Perfect Warrior, part one. Part one of two, because of what's about to happen next, which I thought this was unbelievable. So the next one's going to be even more so. This is featuring a player in our, in the, in our main clan, Wartmos. Featured him many times on the channel already so far. But for reasons like this here. So he's going to attempt to attack a level 2 Thera, which is the Lonely Warrior. He's doing it by himself. So as the leader, you can bring three people into the attack. He's bringing in the he's bringing in the, the blue... Spit it out now. The blue daggers as the leader, which adds the 21% critical rate. But he went down quick. So daggers is already out of the attack. He's got blue colonel and, and the red nomad left. So... Let's give you a little history on this. It usually takes me two attacks. If I'm only hitting this two attacks to beat her, period. Sometimes even three. Now we have one shotter, but that's with a full party of five people and everyone's got level 40 heroes. So Wartmost is doing something that I've never been able to do. I I'm sure there's people out there that can that's maybe done this, but I I've just never been able to even come close. So the key to this attack is the Red Nomad, his ability, which is called Ever Victorious. This ability, this makes it to where no one can deflect his attack, and he has a 50% chance to counterattack anyone that attacks him. This is so key in this attack. This is the reason why he can do this. It, it really showcases how strong Red Nomad can be if used in the right conditions, and it's just amazing, really. So, what what he's done by using Red Nomad and using the war pattern that he uses on him is he plays Thera against herself. And, and, I'll, and I'll explain that a little more in a few seconds once we go into the war pattern. But ju just with his ability, every time that he bring, that, the, that Thera calls in uh, the cavalry and brings in the, the green archer girls, brings in the, the green marksmen, he's actually benefiting, uh, Vortmos is actually benefiting from this every time. Because if you see right here, look at Red Nomad, almost dead. Now he attacks the first archer girl, she goes down, his health comes back. Second archer girl, she goes down, his health, com his health comes back. Third attack on the archer girl, back to full health. So because he's retaliating on, on each of the archer girls every time that they're shooting, I know there's only a 50% chance of that, but, and I'm not, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure of his war patterns as far as the abilities on him. He may have hit um, on, on his right hand which that would increase the uh, his chance of uh, maybe counterattacking. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything really, but but I do know this. The the ability ever victorious it, it turns red nomad into a monster on this. Every time the green archer girls come in, the green nomads, he counterattacks the green archer girls because of his war pattern. He is regaining hit points with every single time he, every time he strikes with the life steal. We'll get into that in, in a, a little more in a second. And this is why Thera is literally working against herself. Now this is a long attack, and I played it in speed one just to give uh, so I could go over everything a little bit better instead of playing in speed three, which was about a four minute video. I try not to do four minute videos. I do at least like five minutes. <laughs> so now. When I saw the attack at first, I, I see uh, Blue Colonel, which is a healer. I see the uh, I see Blue Daggers, which does the critical rate attack. So he's increasing the uh, the amount of damage that he's going to do every time he does a critical rate, or the chances of a critical rate attack at least. And then Red Nomad. I figured that Daggers would do a lot of damage because he's a Blue Daggers against the Red the Red Thera. Um, really, Daggers and Colonel were non-factors in the attack. The key, the, the main factor was the war pattern of Ian. He uses Ian war pattern, which is the life steal, 35%. Like uh, he gets 35% health points, hit points, whatever you call it in your world. <laughs> um, 35% of the damage he does, he gets back. So every time he hits anyone, he's re he's recovering some hit points, health points. 
This is why every time the Archer Girls, the the Marksman gets called, they get called in. Um, sure, he's not hitting Theros, he's not doing damage to the boss, but he's he's regaining his health every time. So by the time he's got he's back to Thera, um, he does the double strike on her. I, I, that means his speed is up higher than Thera's, um, and, and and or he's doing a retaliation attack. So that right there may have been the re retaliation attack. Uh, it's it's hard to tell because I don't know exactly what the speed is. I didn't go and look at all of his stats, but I don't think his speed is that much higher because it looks like they're kind of rotating pretty evenly. But he's getting more attacks in because of the the retaliation because of the ever victorious. So this is the one of the best examples of using the right hero in the right war patterns, and he's literally using the strengths of Thera against her. Most most of the time, if if you've attacked Thera level two. And you've done a minimal amount of damage. You, you, you go in there with, with 5 level 40 heroes. And yet you only do 100,000 damage. And you don't know why. The reason is. Is because the marksmen are teeing off on everybody. If you don't watch the replays you won't ever see this. But the marksmen go in there. And they and they're, a lot of people will bring all blue heroes. Because uh, Thera is red. So then the green marksmen do a number on the blue heroes. So they wipe out all the blue heroes. And, and you end up not getting a very high score at all. Fortmost scores over 440,000 on this one attack with one hero, which seems impossible because you get a point for every time, every every damage you do. So her hit, po her health points, hit points. I'm just gonna keep on saying both, I guess. Retarded. Uh, is over four, four is 440,000. So you think that would be the max you can get in the event? In fact, he gets 500 and something thousand because of all of the damage he does to all of the the marksmen. So that all adds up in his score. Every time he scores damage, he's scoring points in the in the event, which is why he skyrockets over 440. Ironically, he's not number one; he's number two. So somebody else has figured this out. It happens to be the number one player on our server. But it's thanks to the marksman that he's able to do this because as he's attacking the marksman, he's regaining all the hit points. And I know I've probably said this now 15 times. It's it's just um, good planning. Uh, having the perfect war pattern on and using the, the, the right hero for for this event So what does this mean for us? This means that the next time we have the, the war pattern event You might really want to think about taking whatever you have off of red nomad and putting on Ian It looks like he reacts to Ian very very well Because as he's striking every the more people in the party the better the more people that attack him the better because he's doing the he's doing the Ever victorious and he's getting more and more attacks in you know his speed isn't just that much better that he gets to every other attack he's getting he's getting retaliation attacks every time they attack him and so that right there he retaliated to the elephants attack and then he gets zone attack in after and uh, it's only a 50% chance but he may be able to increase that with a war pattern I don't know if it, it would, I think it would be um, Corsac with with hit that would make you uh, make your chances to hit uh, your retaliation chances even higher. I'm gonna have to look into that a little better. I don't know, which I don't know what a lot. So, uh, so this is part one of two. Reason why it's part one of two is because Vortmos is adamant that he can solo this with just the Red Nomad. He actually asked me to hold off on the video until he solos it with Red Nomad, but I'll, I wanted to show you this is incredible enough. And if he manages to solo it, I'm making another video on it because I've never seen this. Never mind, never seen it soloed. And for me, I, I was thrilled when I finally soloed uh, Saya uh, with three partners, which is nothing compared to this. It's, there. it's just nothing. There's the last hit on him. Knocks out Thera, level two, by himself. Ends up with 439,000. Damn. Great attack by Vortmos. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for part two. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Copy that war pattern. Copy this man. This is a, this is a, some good stuff, everyone. Till next time. It's been easy. Take care, everybody.